In this HVACR training video, we're going over the purpose of these strainer slash mufflers and also the muffler on a mini split system. Make sure to check out our new book on inverter mini splits and we go over the electrical operation of all the components inside. We go over the refrigerant related practices and a lot of the questions that you may have concerning these systems. So check this out in the full outline over at acservicetech.com in the mini split tab. A muffler often gets mistaken and confused as a copper spun filter dryer that has desiccate inside to absorb moisture from a system and a strainer screen, but that's not what this is. It's just a hollow chamber and it's a place for the refrigerant to gather. Each of the pulses of refrigerant coming from the compressor can hit the walls in here, reduce in vibration, reduce in frequency and noise in order to not have this whole thing just shaking around and creating a maybe a high pitched noise. Uh, because you have to remember that this compressor is running at variable speed. So it's able to ramp down in speed or ramp up in speed because of the uh, power and the controller. And so what happens is the engineers are trying to design these systems for various pumping speeds. It's not just a single speed unit. And so there's a lot of extra turns like right here, here, and here. You'll even see them over here. So there's many, many extra turns that you would think, hey, you don't want to have those extra turns because that would uh, reduce uh, the amount of oil traveling back due to adding extra static and friction for the refrigerant traveling through, but it's all to reduce the pulsation in the system. So even over here, this is serving two functions. And so once again, it's a muffler to allow the refrigerant pulsations to gather and reduce any type of uh, vibrations, but there's also this strainer screen so that there is going to be a capture of any type of uh, copper shards that may be coming up in here, and it's going to protect the EEV from any of those little copper shards. And this is going to be designed as a net, not just a, a flat stainless steel screen, because the purpose is to have an increased surface area so there's not any friction or pressure loss from one side of this to the other. And even if part of this got clogged up, it's still going to allow the refrigerant and oil to travel through. So that's what this is. There is no desiccant on the inside of this in a mini split system. So we have to take extra precaution when we're vacuuming the lines and making sure we get it down to a very low micron level to make sure that there's no moisture in the system before we let the refrigerant through. This is right here, here. Now you may see only one of these. The other one may be back over towards the coil more. There's also this size right here that you might see. So this is a, a common and it's smaller size. And there is a little net inside of this as well. But this is a strainer slash muffler. Over here, you may have a different size muffler as well. It may be a lot larger. And once again, it may have baffles inside, uh, but it just depends on the size of the system. And if you wanna learn more about all the physical components, the electrical components in a mini split system, make sure to check out our new book, the Inverter Mini Split Operation and Service Procedures book. So we have that available over our website at acservicetech.com, on Amazon, on Google Play, and over on Apple Books. And make sure to check out some of the free articles that we have over the website at acservicetech.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.